The scientific evidence doesn't show any reason to believe that there is God. I don't believe in God. I, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't really understand the whole God thing. I think I'm myself about, like, I'm an agnostic. I'm not against religion, but uh, I don't believe it. You start to kind of doubt it, and then with time you kind of believe that there's no one out there like God. I've been raised a uh, uh, Christian, but I don't really believe in God. My mum only lied to me about one thing. Um, she, uh, she said there was a God. What kind of God is he? It's perfectly apparent that he's monstrous, utterly monstrous, and deserves no respect whatsoever. The moment you banish him, your life becomes simpler, purer, cleaner, more worth living. What I want to urge upon you is militant atheism. Once you start realizing that there are these non-material realities out there, like the laws of mathematics, like probably the laws of morality, it's not so surprising to think there may be other non-material laws. Over the years, it's come home to me more and more. How do you make sense of people's desire for justice, people's desire for right and wrong, people's concern about suffering? All of that only makes sense if, in reality, there is desire, there is purpose, there is sense, and there is meaning. If you're an atheist, why should it matter that the suffering, after all, if really the world is just a matter of blind chance, then isn't that just the consequence? I think there's a lot of evidence actually for my faith. I, to be honest, I wouldn't be a Christian if there wasn't really good evidence for my faith. know what happened before the Big Bang. It's like the beginning of time, the beginning of space, and only after that can we really understand what happened. In fact, we can't even go all the way back to the very beginning because it goes to a piece of physics that we don't understand. So we don't really know whether there was a beginning or whether that's completely the wrong question. All we know is that at that time the universe sprung into being and the laws of nature as we know it came into being. She just said, well, I was raised um, an atheist, my parents are atheists, my grandparents are atheists, and then I came to Cambridge. And I was in a biochemistry lecture one day, and the lecturer was explaining exactly what I just said, how the DNA is packed, packaged into a cell. And she listened to that, and she said to herself, there's got to be a God. Because we have these laws of physics, so how did they come into being? Well, one possibility is there was another set of laws that caused the laws that we have. But then what caused those laws? Well, there must be another set of laws that caused those laws. And another set, and another set, and then you go on with an infinite number of causes. That's possible, but it's very odd because we've never experienced or known anything about infinite sets of causes, something bizarre. Imagine you had uh, something like a creation machine in front of you with all these dials on it, and you can twiddle one dial and make all electrons a bit heavier, and you twiddle another dial and make the weak force a bit weaker and so on. Um, and as far as we know, there are about 30-something uh, of those dials that would describe the universe as we see it. Uh, and then uh, what, what you can do is analyze this theoretically. And you soon find that twiddling some of those dials by even a tiny amount would wreck the chances of life ever emerging in the universe. When I was a, a teenager, I went through teenage angst as to what was the purpose of it all. And it seemed to me there were only two real possibilities. Either the whole thing was completely absurd, meaningless, all a matter of chance, or there really was some purpose behind it, a god design, uh, and a sense in what was going on. And uh, the idea that in a world that was so ordered, the whole thing could be senseless. It just didn't make any sense to me at all. Is science going to really help you 
to know how you ought to use the latest discoveries in science, I don't think it's going to help you on that. You can inform that decision, but the ought question is still lying outside of science. What ought we to do with our lives and so on? As a judge, one does look for evidence. And again, one looks for the most coherent explanation of the facts. And, and the, the one big fact that everybody, about everybody, was agreed on at the time was that the tomb was empty.